So this workout is something I call the dumbbell death march. And all you have to do is pick a single set of dumbbells. If you're a beginner, choose something on the lighter end, let's say 10 pounds or so. If you're intermediate, you'll be picking something around the 30 pound range. Again, give or take five or 10 pounds. And on the higher end here, the more advanced guys are gonna pick something up around 50. The goal of this workout is to complete four exercise combinations, or rounds as we call them. At the beginning of each round, we're always going to start with the same exercise, and that is this dumbbell death march. Now, if you don't have a lot of room at home and you want to just do this in place, you can do it like this. But if you do have the room to travel, then you're going to allow yourself to actually walk and travel forward as you do your renegade rows. In both cases, you're going to perform five repetitions on each arm, which leads you right into the second half of that combo. And in the first round trip, we start with a dumbbell thruster. The key here, I like to just aim my elbows directly down and I let them touch my knees at the bottom of every rep and I drive out of there. We're working our shoulders, our triceps, our upper chest, our legs. It's a great exercise to hit our entire body. After 40 seconds, I take my dumbbells, I walk back to the beginning. And after a 20 second rest, I start my next round trip. And waiting for me at the end of the second round trip is the dumbbell sprinter lunge. So here I pick up the dumbbells and I just simply step backwards and I load up that posterior chain by simply tilting my torso forward at the bottom of every rep. Again, 40 seconds is all I'm looking for here. And I pick those dumbbells up and I walk them back and I wait 20 seconds. On the third round trip, now we're going back to the upper body again. And this time, we're doing this variation of a push-up. I'm bringing the dumbbells in really close to my body to accentuate the triceps, but I also get the chance to squeeze my hands together as much as I can. So I get that extra engagement of the chest. Remember, we can just passively push ourselves up or we can squeeze up and get a lot more chest activation if we do it this way. So I do this now for 40 seconds. Now, if at any point in time you can't do the entire 40 seconds, you are allowed to rest pause but I'm trying to discourage it. I want to push you through this workout. To make it the ultimate total body workout, I want to push you to that next level. Try not to rest pause, keep going. I take that last 20 second rest and I come back and I go through my fourth round here and this time it culminates in the high pull from the floor. So now I'm just gonna pull these dumbbells and rip them off the floor and get them into that high pull position. Key here guys, this is not an upright row. You know how I feel about that exercise, we're not doing it. What we're doing is we're keeping the thumbs higher than the pinkies at the top. I pull these all the way up to shoulder level, I drop down to the floor and I keep this going for 40 seconds. Now at this point I've completed four round trips, that is the entire circuit here. It takes you just about five minutes. Now you get to rest two minutes and you go back and repeat this two more times for a total of a workout that lasts between 15 and 20 minutes. It is intense, but it's going to get the job done. If you're looking for more workouts that can be done at home with just a single set of dumbbells, you want to check out these 10-minute workout variations for shoulders and biceps. And if you haven't already done so, guys, make sure you click subscribe and turn your notifications so you never miss a new video when we put one out. If you're looking for step-by-step -step programs, guys, all of ours are available over at athletics.com. See you soon.